x root x plus equal to x plus square root of x. And x is real number, so we can conclude x because x is real number. x should be at least 0 because we have square root of that. In next step, we say, okay, it's, it's x square root x because x is positive. We can write instead of x square root of x times square root of x plus square root of x. Now, we want to divide both sides by square root of x. So we should consider the square root of x should not be 0. So in first case, we consider if it is 0, so x equal to 0. It is one answer. It satisfies the main equation. Both sides will be 0. And then, in second case, if root x is not 0, then we divide both sides by root x. It will be x equal to root x plus 1. Now, we consider um, root x equal to y. So it will be y squared here equal to y plus. Now we take all things to left hand side y squared minus y minus 1 equal to 0. Now we should find, and we know why because this square root of x is at least 0. We should use quadratic formula for this part. If you use quadratic formula, we can say, let me write this green. Okay, quadratic formula is what if you have x squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So if we apply it here, y will be negative negative 1 plus minus square root of b squared negative 1 squared minus 4 times a times c negative 1 all over 2a. Now we can conclude y equal to 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4, 5, all over 2. Because y is at least 0, we can conclude x y equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And because x is root x is y, so x is y squared, so if we want to find this answer, we should raise it to the power of 2. So let's do this left. x equal to y squared equal to 1 plus root 5 squared over 2 squared. Now, okay, if we raise it to the power of 2, if you don't know the formula, you can write it twice times 1 plus root 5 over 2. So x, the denominator is 4, then we'll write a 1 times 1, 1. 1 times root 5 plus 1 times root 5, 2 root 5. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. So it will be 5 plus 1, 6 plus 2 root 5 over 4. And if you divide both numerator and denominator by 2, 3 plus root 5 over 2. So we found two answers for x, the first answer, second answer. If you had questions, send message to my WhatsApp number and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell and like the video. Thanks. Bye bye.